just want to encourage you to pay attention. Have notebooks. But Papi, don't study with this. I have Bibles. The reason why I come this, just because I already prepared, put in my head, put in my spirit, put here. There's no need to start to flip. Otherwise, I will come with the Bible flipping. Get a note. There's, there's, a, there's a thing is, when you hear the word and do it, let me show you a place here so that we can be blessed. Okay, let's go to before I show you some revelation that can open your mouth and open your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. We use no King James, please. So Christ is so. Remember we are learning about uh, kingdom builders. Amen? He said here what? And he himself. For Christ himself or he himself. When you're talking about Christ himself, this gift is not the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is the gift of Christ. Jesus Christ. The gift of the Holy Spirit will have miracles, signs and wonders. But before Jesus left here on earth, that's why he said Christ himself gave some. some, not everybody. He must listen to this. Gave some he didn't say the word. He didn't say he gave all. He didn't say he gave many. He gave some to be what? To be apostles. Some. Some prophets. Some. Some evangelists. Some. And some pastors. Some pastors and teachers. He left twelve. For the equipping of the saints. Listen. For the equipping of the saint. For what? Equipping. Of the saint, wait. Your brother in Christ can encourage you. Your mom, your daddy, but they can't equip you. If they are not giving, this is where there are so many. Can you see so many messages on Facebook? Can you see it? This is many so many messages on Facebook, on YouTube, another social media, Instagram. Still, people don't still believe God. Does that mean is that is that working? <laughs> because so many people that are equipping, they are not called to equip. And if God does not call you to equip, God can anoint that. And this is uh, where matter made a mistake. God didn't call him to equip him to make so many foods, like money food on Facebook. <laughs> but God never called Martha to prepare so much meals. Martha was offended. Martha was worried. The more we are equipped on Facebook, the more we have many people don't even know who Jesus is. Because the, he, he gave some to be apostle. That's why you have to listen. He don't eat every junk food. Even though he sounds good does it mean? See, I can preach something good. God may not empower it. It's not what men say that matters. It's what God says. A man can come here and stammer, ha, 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 ha. If God empower him to equip you, that ha, 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 will change your story. Even though you don't know. Amen. I say, amen. So when he do the ha, ha, he better listen to ha, ha. And somebody with their own um, intellect comes. I don't understand. I want to be here so I can understand. You can understand all your life and be broke. It's not him that winneth or him that runneth. It's God that shows mercy. The kingdom of God is different from university. It's not by observing. It's by spirit. So, the Bible says for the equipping of the saint. For the work of ministry. Equip, the word equip comes from equipment. If you are not God, if you are not a doctor, do you know the equipment for a doctor? Let's say if you are a electrician. You know those electricians, they have those uh, things that look like doctor stuff. Huh? They have that when they put down the plug. Like, boop, boop, boop. It's uh, just like doctor, electri electrician look like a doctor. If you are called to be a electrician and they want to be a doctor, what's going to happen to you? 
you have to train for it but if god is saying i don't want to train you because i don't call you for that it's better to listen to him than to do what we want because after you train as a doctor even though you train as a doctor he will not anoint you so you became a frustrated angry doctor Amen. So now he gave some uh, for equipment of the saints for the work of the ministry. Ministry is not only for souls or miracles. Everything is a ministry. Your marriage is a ministry. Your business is a ministry. Your health is a ministry. Men, we are equipped. So when we come here, we are not just equipping only for church. This is a place. This is a training ground. So when we go out there, we tell them about Jesus. And then for what edifying of the body of Christ. Continue. So we all come to the unity of the faith. Unity of the faith. Unity of the faith. Many people do they believe that God can heal. There are some people that believe different things. We want to walk on to the unity of faith and what and the knowledge of the Son of God. To be what? Perfect men. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's the responsibility of this apostle, prophet, pastor to equip. Uh -huh. That we should no longer be children. That she will no longer be children, be on a toaster. There are so many believers, they are on a toaster. Toast through and flow. He said, We will no longer be children. There are so many children with big bodies, but not here. I mean, the other church. Children, they listen to this, they are this, they, they never focus. They told somebody say something, they change. Why? Because they are not equipped yet. When you are equipped, you know who you are. You know who your father is. You know that God can bless you. God can heal you. You know that the word of God, when it comes for healing, miracles, tithing, works. You are not trying to change the world. You believe the word of God. Whatever God said it, that's it. He don't he try to twist the word. You are planted. Bible said, do not forsake the garden of brethren. And somebody said, forsake it. <laughs> Bible said, give. Somebody said, do it your own way. West, are you, do you know it doesn't work? Sometimes I see people, I just cry. It's a matter of time you fail. Stay with God when you are going through some pain. Continue to do the right thing and see whether this God will fail or not. This God, Satabaha. Only thing that caused God not to move in our lives, when you are in challenge, you begin to compromise. When you are compromised, you are weakening God. But when you are going through some challenge and you are still faithful, don't worry. Tell anybody, don't worry. No, look at them. So don't worry. It's a matter of time. Victory will look for you from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Shout hallelujah. From Genesis to Revelation, people that stood the test and focus on the word of God never go down. Only people that use their head, they will be headed. That's why I say. You are no longer children. Toast. You are, you are granted in the world. Whether God supplying for me or not, I believe the word. Whether God heal my body or not, I believe the word. I'm no longer children. As someone say, have God heal you? He don't need to hear me to be God. I believe the word. You are granted. God doesn't need to pamper you for you to believe him. You are no longer children. Toast from through and flow. You know that God, the day God saved you, you know you have an encounter. He saved you from the pit of hell and pushed you to heaven. On your way to heaven, he must train you. And when he train you, he will give you some tests. Everybody here will go through tests. And many people don't like it. So they walk away from God. At the end of the day, if they don't come back before death shows up, they find themselves in hell. Apart from him, you can do nothing. Apart from him, it's waste of Time. 
Tell your neighbor, never waste your time. Have you seen somebody die with a Lamborghini in their belly? Have you seen somebody die with a Lamborghini in their belly? Have you seen somebody die with all their money and they're going shopping to the grave? It's a waste of time. Lift your hands and say, I will never waste my time. Say, I know what I have. I have eternity. I have Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. So why are you still going through some challenge? Yes, what a look. Most yes, what a look. Yes, what more. Yes, you are the Lord. More. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. More. But it must be in the right place. It must be in the right place. You are built up. But when people are going to some challenge, they be in the wrong place. They are getting wrong information and their head is screwed up. Apart from Jesus, that's nothing we need. Your house is wonderful, but your house can't get you anywhere. One of these days you show up. The money in your bank account is good, but when you are 90 years old, you don't know what to do with it. Praise the Lord. But if you know where you're going, you can't allow your temporary situation to stop your eternal destiny. And then the Bible says, you, you are no longer children. Your family says, oh God is not, where is your God? Where is it? I don't need to prove my family my God. You don't, nobody need, you don't need to prove anybody to your God. God is not something you prove. God will prove to them. You go on your knees and show them God. Amen. Toes from Yes, sir. Carried about every way of doctrine. Yes, sir. By the trickery of men. Uh -huh. The cunning craftiness of the sinful person. Amen. Continue. But speaking the truth in love. Speaking the truth in love. Speaking the truth. Tell them only the truth. Tell them only the truth. We set us free. Speaking the truth in love, not in angry. Tell them in love. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. In love, uh -huh. may grow up in all things into him who is the head. Yes, Christ, sir. From whom the whole body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective work, by effective working, by which every part does its share, causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. That's the responsibility of the man of God to build us up. Through the word of God, and then we became effective in every area of our life homes, businesses, families, things in the mighty name of Jesus. And then what happened when that happened? So now we are learning now, right? Now this will not change you now until you put it to work. The Holy Spirit is here. The angels of the Lord is here. They are watching who is listening. They are watching who is taking the word seriously. And this is the reason why if you don't take God, see, this is we, our responsibility as man of God is to help people to know that this is actually serious more than what they think. So you don't play with your life expecting God to answer your prayer. So we have seen people, they expect God to become their Jimmy or guinea pig. When they want prayer for healing, so Holy Spirit touch it. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. They don't know that he's Lord. They have no reverence. They have no honor to his word. So God became somebody that massaged them when they need massage. So after the massage, they go their own way. So when they need, when God drink you, they are angry. They call him names without knowing who we worship. So when we come to empowerment class like this, it's to give us awareness, to show us that's, that's much more. He's our Lord. He's our Father. He's our everything. Everything. When we come to a place like this. So now, if you open up your Bible, 
There's a place I will show you. What happened is uh, there's a man called Zachariah. Zachariah is the husband of who? Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the mother of who? John the Baptist. So that's a time and because an angel visited Zachariah when he was in the temple praying. He was praying. An angel came to Zachariah and said that your, your wife will have a baby. He said, Phew. because the wife was very, very old. And then he said, <laughs> Zachariah doubted God. Go on mute. Go on mute his mouth. Tell your neighbor, doubt. Look at your neighbor and say, doubt can mute your life. He mute his mouth. He could not talk anymore. Amen. Amen. So that's what that would cost. So the reason we're going to learn this, you may read this without revelation, you don't know what it is. Somebody's marriage can be mute. Business, health can be mute by God. Because it was in the New Testament. Right? And then, what happened? So, when um, when uh, Elizabeth gave birth to John, so they want to call John name. They want to call him a name. So because the father cannot talk, they wanted to call him Junior Zachariah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Someone say Junior follower. It's not you. Okay, let's go. Luke. <laughs> Luke chapter. Tell me about Luke. Luke. And Luke in James. Luke chapter 1, verse 57. Please. Kasutema. Hey. Now Elizabeth's full time came came for her to be delivered. Yes, sir. And she brought forth a son. She brought forth a son. Yeah. Continue, sir. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. Continue. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. Say they wanted to call him. See, that's what. When we come to empowerment class, lay, go, stay, go to toilet at home. Stay, lay in the world. Listen, I pray that uh, you can learn something from here. Are you hearing me? When we don't take the word of God seriously, listen, God will never take it serious. He won't. And I wish we tell our family like that. If you don't take his word serious, that's, you're just playing. But the day you wake up by revelation, know that this, this, you are listening now, this can change that that you are crying about. All this, all, all this work out, you are working out. Try to make this happen. The word of God can make it happen. The word. And it's hard to tell people that kids in the Lord. And it's hard to tell unbelievers that Martha can be busy doing everything. And Mary was listening to Jesus. And Jesus said, your sister has found something and no one can take it away from her. Because when you get the word of God, he said, abandon me and my word abandon you. Then he can ask anything. It shall be so. Many people want to ask everything and there's no word in them. It's only food and water. And when you say, in Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost, check your word, say there's no word, it's water and food. And then the Bible says, it was on the what? On the eighth day. Uh -huh. That they came to circumcise the child. They circumcised the child, yeah. And they would have called him by the name of his father. They would have called him who? Zacharias. Who? Zacharias. They call him Zachariah Genio. You don't call your son engineer here. If you call the engineer, they became engineer for life. Amen. If your name is engineer, we're going to change your name. Maybe on, on Friday. We'll call you senior. <laughs> praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, no more Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Okay. His mother answered and said, no, he shall be called. Thank God for the mother can talk. His mother answered and said, what? No, he shall be called John. Uh -huh. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this. <laughs> who cares? But never mind. Yeah. 
<laughs> Tell me, shall we call John? <laughs> okay, man, continue. So they made signs to his father. They made signs to his father because the father could not talk. They made some sign language, like, you know, sign language to the father. And then, what he would have called because they don't, they don't accept what um, Elizabeth says. So we want to hear from the father of the child, not just only from the mother. So what happened? And he asked for a writing tablet. Now, you see, he asked what? A writing tablet, which tell your neighbor tablet exists before you <laughs> you came here. Now, some of these people they say, I got a new tablet. There's no new tablet. You ask Zachariah. <laughs> tell your neighbor that's nothing new. It's recycle. So somebody said, This is the latest tablet. <laughs> when you talk, Zachariah will laugh. <laughs> Zachariah said, I have used all the tablets. That he ever used. He asked for what? Writing tablet. Do you have a tablet, some of us? I mean, I'm not talking about tablet for medicine. <laughs> you know, those things you do, you call it what? Tablet. But you call it what? tablet. So Zachariah knows that it's tablet. Somebody said, We are new age. Which age? Zachariah have lived <laughs> before your mother in law, and he knows tablet. That's what Bible says. There is nothing new under the sun. And when you say that's a new thing coming, it's a recycled stuff. That's nothing new here on earth. Everything has been used, and we are reusing it. So if you're thinking that that's a new thing, they get this shoe now, they change it, they they they, they what did they cook it, and they make another one that like this. It's not new. Just from the old and make a recycle. That's nothing new. God said it is finished. <laughs> God had created everything. So we are just recycled stuff. So we call it that latest model. BMW latest model. <laughs> Ferrari latest model. Then you are latest model. <laughs> and then the Bible says he asked for and then wrote saying name is John. Uh -huh. So they all marveled. Uh -huh. Immediately, his mouth was open. When he write, when he begin to write what I say here, <laughs> when we begin to have empowerment class, and we begin to write it down, immediately, your marriage will open. Amen. Your finance will open. Amen. Are you hearing me? What is the connection between him writing things on a tablet with his mouth? When you hear the word and write it down, something happens. He didn't pray for the mouth to open. He didn't worship for the mouth to open. He just hear the word and write it down, mouth open. So when you're telling people four minutes stuff, write these things down. They don't listen. They are waiting for God to open this, open this. When you write things down, things can open in your families. And people don't get it. Because too much flesh in the church. If I tell you that if you write things tonight, you're going to become a millionaire tomorrow, you will be laughing. Say, if somebody tells a crier that if you write, the mo if you write about what I'm going to say, down, your mouth will open. He must laugh. The things of the Lord must be obeyed. <laughs> Ah, Sataba. Now you've been praying something you're supposed to be writing down when Baba Pete. So the miracle that you're crying for a long time, maybe you're praying. God said, only if you begin to write this down and go home. While you're studying at your home, I will begin to do things in your finances. God does not do things because you pray. Prayer is important. Worship is important. But the biggest key in God is obedience. Obedient is very, very important. So, mom, daddy, let's teach our children. The word is amazing. The word, if we can get the word, the reason for stress, the reason for worry, people don't read the word. They don't get it. You cannot have the word and have worry. You can't. You can't have the word of God and have depression. You can't. 
You can't have two together. Either the word of God destroys depression or depression moves you away from the word. The day I have an encounter with the word of God, depression disappears. I was depressed because of immigration for years. The day I open my mouth to the world, I open myself, I give myself to the world, depression disappears. Why you are sitting down with God, with the world, God can change your story. People don't know that. So they think that, that somebody said, I have finished my Bible. Silly stuff. Bible is not a book. You don't, you can finish here, yeah, what they call it, geography, not Bible. Bible is not a, pers- a, a book. Bible is a person. Bible is a place you sit down. You talk to him. Say, my father, talk to me today. Minister to me as I read your word. Help me, my father. I'm struggling in this area. I'm struggling in this area. My mouth is going before I, I talk before I think. You have to do something about it while you're talking. He said, okay, go to James. And when you're reading from James, we, he begin to do something new. And somebody try to go to counselor. Say, uh, when, before you talk, think. You, you don't think in the first place. But the word, the Bible says, immediately his mouth opened. Can I tell you something? Your finance has a mouth. Your business has a mouth. Your marriage has a mouth. Your career has a mouth. If you begin to take the word of God and begin to write, do you know what mouth will open tonight? Not from prayer, from getting the word. No wonder the Bible says, write the vision down and run. See how you may be reading this for years. You don't understand. That's why he gave you apostles, pastors, to bring light from the wood. And this is why extraordinary class is very, very important to help us to be empowered. So he take the word seriously. So God does not just answer your prayer when you pray. God does not just answer your prayer when you worship. God answer your prayer too when you have time with him. That was, he write the word down. John, can you read it again? Please, verse 64, 53. The uh, Bible said, he asked for a writing tablet, like I asked for a notebook. He wrote saying, his name is John. So, all of them, we are Marvel. They come from the, uh, Marvel, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Marvelous Road, from Light of One Nation. They are Marvel. Look at your neighbor. See you look. You look marvelous. Now, marvelous people need an iPad, tablet. Marvelous people have a notebook. Marvelous people put it on your phone. Papa, P, do what I said to you. My kid, I have to train them to do this. Christianity is training. And if you don't have time for those things, and then you want God to have time for you. So when God or God preaching, mm, mm, before you walk out to this place, you forget about everything I say. You forget about everything I say. And then he says, which one God will use to bless you? He said, God, you are my God. God said, when I'm speaking, when God is speaking, you are not listening. He said, God, I'm looking for you. God said, I have spoken to you, but you're not listening. Because when they cried up in Egypt, God sent Moses. He better he listen to Moses. Moses came in response of your prayer. Moses didn't come to make himself Moses. When you cry in Egypt, God was preparing Moses in a wilderness. So when God see your pain, God sent Moses. Now whatever Moses do, he better he do that. Because Moses is not against you, Moses is for you. So when you despise Moses and say, God, I want you, God is say, what are you doing? I have answered your prayer. But he, he despised my prayer. There's nothing else I can do. And this is the reason why failures in the body of Christ. Because they're despising Moses and they're looking for Moses on the internet. It will not work. Because nobody can pastor you online. That you can be helped online. It can be pastored online. Nobody knows what you do. I can tell you, God is good. But who watches what you do there? Nobody knows. You can't just win souls and say, do your own thing. You, nobody does that. But we can be helped. Pushed. Helped through online. But you can't pastor online. You can't have a wife online. 
You can meet men online and then they can have in line. <laughs> you guys are making me scared. Tell anybody listening. Ask them, where is your iPad? Tell them, where is your writing pad? Say, if I don't see you with the writing pad next time, I will buy one for you. Somebody writing pad open their mouth. Hey, Kashute back. Open the, his mouth. Imagine if they didn't give him his writing pad, his mouth would have been moved for life. And he's gonna be pray for me, auntie, pray for me, sis, sis, pray for me, sis, who pray for you, and your land became sis. All he needed is revelation to know how to write it on the writing pad. He didn't say. John, he didn't use a sign language. He said, I will write this down because I don't want you to forget it. I can say, I can do like this. I can say, I, oh, okay, because the wife was saying, John, he can say, what do you think? He said, it's agreement. He may say, somebody said, I don't think it's agreement. He was angry. So he doesn't want them to <laughs> misunderstood him. So somebody said, oh, he agreed. Somebody said, no, no, that's, he said, I will fight you. So he doesn't want, he said, to avoid confusion, let's put this on a pad. Ah, to avoid what did Papa P say? Ah, oh, see, do you know? No, 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 I don't need to know. I will put it on a pad. And the Bible says, Oh, you got it, John, you got it now. Before you used to doubt, before you used to doubt, before you used to, I melt your mouth, I melt your mouth, I melt your mouth. Now he can, what, I, what I'm telling you now, you want to write it down so you don't forget. And the Bible. Bible is saying verse 64 immediately. Come on, give it to us, give it to us, give it immediately. Immediately. His finance open. Sorry, sorry. Uh. Hey. And then the Bible said, immediately his mouth was open and his tongue loose. Somebody need to be loose today. Are you hearing me? Somebody, not just mouth open, but the tongue loose. Your mouth may be open, but your tongue may not be loose. And when your tongue is not loose, anything you say, the roof will hear you, God will not hear you. Hey! On Friday, I think our mouth will be loose, will loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when you come to a power class, you come, even if you don't have that, you write down. When you go back home, half an hour, ten minutes, it's the Holy Spirit. Chai, I just want to reverse what Papa P said today. You are Yahweh. Yeah. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Church, you declare you are you are what? you are 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 Imagine that now you are not just reading the Bible. Someone said, I'm, I'm finished my Bible. I have finished New Testament. The other one said, I have finished Old Testament. The other one said, I have finished the book of James. The other one said, I'm in uh, Malachi. And all this Malachi, you don't know how to tithe. You are still struggling to give 10%. You finished Malachi? <laughs> you haven't even started yet. How can you finish Malachi? You still struggle to tithe. That means it's, it's not Malachi. It's Malachi. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like dancing on the flesh. I say, have you finished Malachi? I say, yeah. I say, do you give? So, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I feel like praying for him. Do you finish the word to become doers of it? 
So now you're not just reading the Bible like mom take you to Bible college or Bible school. You say Ubuntu, a uh, uh, faith college, and then you come back with doubt. People been to faith college and they don't believe that God can hear them. What do you know what faith is? Faith on sin things. And you've been to faith college and come back with a ah ah well 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 what nothing they just been to Cambridge like he, he, he finished your geography chemistry mathematics it's not the Bible the Bible is a person and that person is Jesus Christ and the Bible became the map the Bible kept the GPS. GPS is not your destiny. GPS is not your destiny. GPS take you to your destiny. The Bible is a GPS. So I found how God can open my life today. I, I, I will not rush the Bible anymore. When I go home, I put before I go to bed. It, well, 10 minutes is that too much? 15 minutes is that too much? But it's too much for many people. They, they are busy. They say, no, I have so many things to do, you know. I have a, I have a lot going on, you know. I, I need to get my eyebrow lashes. I'm sorry for eyebrow. <laughs> Sometimes I look at people, what do you have? I have my wife to take care of. I have my husband to take care of. I have all my, you know. There's so much my business. Brother. <laughs> He's a maker of men. He's a lifter of men. I search all over, couldn't find no pain. I look higher, nobody. 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 I've seen people. Jesus said that. He can say, I will prepare for this. I will do this. I will do this. I will keep my money together. He said, what about if you don't see tomorrow? He asked the man. He said, yeah, just know how to put, you know, on Tuesday, I will do this. On that day, I will do this. I will do this. Where is God? God is not in their plan. Their plan. And God said, what about if you don't see tomorrow? Who owns tomorrow? I wish you can be able to know who owns the day before you plan your day. The earth is the Lord. And fullness thereof. So if he can be able to have a relationship to the man that owns the day, because he may not see the day that you plan. You are planning is nothing. If the day you didn't see it, why can't you find out who owns the day? <laughs> and the Bible says, I am not afraid a man that kill the flesh. He said, I am afraid a man that can kill the flesh and kill the spirit, which is God. Have reverence for the word. Have reverence for the word. Come back to the word. You can be busy. Sometimes we don't have time for the word. It's a matter of time. You go back to square one. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my word will never pass away. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We are born again. We know these things. But when we walk out, we take the, the head, the, the, the wisdom of the word and put our head. And the, it's not working. But tonight, it's so try to show you that somebody, by writing the word of God down, by being empowerment class tonight, can have a contract tomorrow. And somebody is on Facebook, on internet, looking for a job, looking for a job. Ha, ha. In Jesus' name, I'm banned. Wasting time. And then he said, if you go to church, how can God bless you? Ah, they actually know God. How can God bless you? So you have figured out how God bless. So when people talk like a you know that they are just children toes from through and flow. While you are sitting down here, God can connect you with a divine helper. While you are listening to his word. But papi live what I preach. So when you're reading the word, people think you are, you are nothing. 
So the word of God, they value the word of God as nothing. That you are studying the word, you are, you are wasting time, you are wasting time, but looking for job, doing this, you are, you are busy men, you are very responsible, but have the word, you are wasting time. But time will tell. Time will tell. That's why the covenant thing comes. We thought that the people that preach to us, people that we thought that they know the Bible, they know nothing. They fall away like chicken. And then they say, you know, my mom was a Stop nonsense. It's a test to shake us. God just allow you to shake where the body of Christ is. Can they handle stuff? And then see them. Oh, the reason why, there's no excuse for God. People were beheaded for God. They are willing to die for Jesus. So God allowed this to shake the church. To see us. See where the church of Jesus is. Because he said that when I return, can I find faith? And faith that is not tested is not faith. It's fake. Are you learning tonight? Yes. Lift your two hands and say, I am learning. Yes. Say, I'm coming back home with my iPad. Say, I'll go back home with my iPad. Say, I'm coming next time with my tablet. Shout hallelujah three times. Shout hallelujah three times. Are you learning tonight? Are you learning tonight? If you are learning, clap your hand for Jesus. I prophesy that your finance is open. Your business is open. Your career is open. Anyone under the sound of my vote, I declare victory in every area of your life. Can you receive it? Oh, the word of God. He said, Jeremiah says something. Okay, put Jeremiah. Uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Chai. Chai. Someone said chai. He said, your word, uh, uh, we are fun. Okay, he said, I ate them. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah said, I ate the word. He said, when I find the word, I ate it. I didn't want to share with anybody. Um, you know how chocolate is, I ate it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like eating stuff. Sorry for that. He said, he said, he said your word, we are fun. And what? Jeremiah said, I ate it. So the word of God is not a book. It's, it's food. You can eat it. And when you eat it, it became part of your flesh. Whatever you eat is who you manifest. Oh, Jesus Christ. I say, never, what are you eating? As the other way, I say, what are you eating? Because whatever you eat is what you manifest. Sometimes if you finish your burger, you don't want to wake up on afternoon lunch. Oh, mom, just wait. Why? You want to digest it. You want to just come down away before you jump up. But if you eat light food, you can digest very far. But if you eat bigger one, what happens? You just say, just take your time. We, we give you time to come up. <laughs> give another translation. <laughs> another translation, please. Are you learning tonight? He said, when I discover your word, I devour. Do you know devour? Some of you don't use your hand for rice. Oh, yes. Do you know some people eat rice without, without their, uh, we get their uh, spoon? They're like, oh. especially if your, your, your family has 16 siblings or 16 uh, 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 brothers and sisters, if you are children of them, <laughs> you put your hand that finish before otherwise you, you get hungry. You know, my, my, uh, my sons understand what I mean. Shepard, you know that. If you have family, that if your mom have, a, let's say, 18 families, 18 brothers and sisters, and then you have a big bowl full of rice, we spoon for what? <laughs> Let my king believe there are. Oh! <laughs> Huh? Using a spoon with sixteen siblings, you are by yourself. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I, I remember my, my, my brother, my, my, my Mori brother. Is that, is that what you call Mori or Mori? Mori. Mori is, is actually they're from Africa. Mistakenly, somebody said, "Hey, Mo." More kid, they call them more. Sorry, <laughs> don't worry. You don't need to look for history. I will tell you history. <laughs> and then now, what happened? Listen, 
Remember that Chinese shop in East Gate? He eat as you go. He, I, I, that time is, I think, $8 something for a small plate and $15 something for a bigger plate. You know, I've been there, but not now. <laughs> and this, my brother, gee, he, he, he gave the $8. <laughs> oh, my Lord, you have been faithful. What's that? <laughs> I, oh, I love you, Lord. The mercy didn't feel that guy. Come on. The more I want to wear, in my head. Now we sing. Lift your hand and say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Love Jesus today. For your man, if you are sinning, do the same. Just worship him. Thank God for the word. We are blessed to hear the word of God tonight. The moment. Hey! Till I lay my head, I will sing. Now put that Jeremiah 16 and 15 16. He said, I devour. He said, when I discover your words, I devour them. Now, this boy, this young man, or my brother, he, 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 he paid $8, he put the rice, he put the chicken, he put the sausage, he put, he, man, the Chinese man, like, <laughs> he, I was watching this movie, yeah. he put it, put it, and he shake it, <laughs> and he shake it, and he shake it, the thing is on top, he put the, the, the chicken, those ones that are not, uh, uh, not the drawn one, they, it's like the side of it. He put it, he put it like this. They may like, they may, because as long as your plate can contain it, devour it. The lady was like, what? He hasn't finished. He, he do like a, like a, uses the fork, dude. Um, and then he put the, I don't know, all the spring, spring rolls. Yeah. He, I was like, when he carry, <laughs> when he carry, they say, you are your. <laughs> he devoured that thing because I bet you he was hungry. Or what? He dew- he devoured the food. I was thinking about the word. Say, imagine if I can take the word, get the word for prayer, shake it, push it. Devour it. I can't finish on morning. When I can't finish, I'm eating with him. I'm eating the word of God. This guy, when the, he, he was walking like, <laughs> and then he went to Tango. It was a nice seat. He, the lady, the lady was so furious. If like that's a without the, if like that's no camera, it's like no smacking in New Zealand. The lady will smack the man. <laughs> well, like, no way. That is, I'm telling you that. I would, I would charge that fifty dollars, not eight dollars. I would charge that one fifty dollars. <laughs> he sit, down, he sit, he sat down. Slowly, slowly. First of all, he, he. he <laughs> I was watching. I'm not watching for the food. I was watching how he de- devouring these things, and then he, he get the spin roll slowly, slowly. And from that uh, mountain top. Uh, I mean, it's a hill. I mean, Mountain Everest. And then he get from Everest, 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 and he rested everything. And the thing he get inside, he told me. And the Tommy looked so simple. I said, gee, where did this food went? The lady was watching him devour this. <laughs> so, when, when, when Jeremiah said, when I discovered his war, I know what he's talking about. I devour them. And then he said, they became my joy. So your business is not your joy. Your marriage is not your joy. Your career is not a joy. If you are still lack joy, you haven't devoured the world properly. Tell anybody tonight, you go home and devour. Oh. 
Oh, are you hearing me, somebody? If you are hearing me, clap your hands. Clap your hand right now. If you are still lacking joy, if you are still lacking joy, if you still find yourself angry, frustration, the problem is not you. The problem is you are not eating enough. Go and devour the word of God. Go and devour the word of God. The Bible is saying when you do that, they became my joy. Hey! I say, hey! hey! The world became my joy. So when you eat KFC, you smell like KFC. It became part of your flesh. It became your joy. So we are not talking about eating the world here. We are talking about becoming the world. Becoming the world. He devoured the world. They are my joy and my height delight. He said what? I will bear your name. Oh Lord, the God of heavenly armies. That's army in heaven. And when you participate in the food, it became part of the host. Lift up your hand. I prophesy billionaires tonight. No, no. I said, I prophesy in Sydney. I prophesy in Sydney. Cratcher, can you receive it? Can you receive it tonight? Say, I receive it. Clap your hand and give Jesus all the praise right now. I said, give him all the praise. Devour the word of God. Do you believe the word of God? Clap your hand properly. Give Jesus all the glory. The word of God is bigger than what you're facing. Get the word of God in you. Don't cry for things. Don't worry about things. Get the word of God in you. Go to the word of God and go back home and speak the word of God. You shall come here with a testimony. If you believe it, jump on your feet and get Jesus all the glory tonight. Sakata. I found fear and say, I am ready for the word. I need a fresh encounter with the word of God. If you believe in shout hallelujah tonight. I say shout a good hallelujah tonight. I say shout a good hallelujah tonight. Because in the realm of the spirit, doors are open, business are open. But the word of God give Jesus all the glory. Hey, can I have your seat. Check what is that? I'm telling you. Oh Lord, you are one. Oh Lord, I need, if I need it. You Lord. Hey. You Thank you, Jesus. You are a funny day. You are a That's why he gave some apostle. Because anyone can bring this, he will not explain anything. He just read the Bible. But a man of God, God give them insight. God give them the flavor of the word. And when we speak the word, it's different. Word became real. He said, I devoured the word. I ate them. And the word became my joy. So the word of God can become my joy. Somebody can have a financial joy here through the word. He writing while Apostle of Fire was preaching. Writing this can make you a billionaire. <laughs> Silly stuff. They don't know who God is. Because we have play with God. So we don't value things of God. So we think that we are talking. That man can be able to put this on a tablet. His mouth open. In the Bible. He didn't pray. He didn't fast. He just write down. His, immediately his mouth open. And he telling me that God can open your financial mouth. You telling me that God has changed. You telling me that if I take the word of God seriously, God can open my mouth. That means God has changed. So instead of us listening to a place where we be equipped, we are listening to somebody that feed us what we feel like. You know, you know when you feel like you are discouraged, you just need somebody that, yeah, you are right, sis. You are right. She shouldn't say that to you. 
What did she think she is? What did I get you? <laughs> Thank you for understanding me. <laughs> you wipe your tears. But what's that change? Or you do good to those that laugh at you. Or you bless those that mock you. Or you just, you know what? Give them some blessing and see how God changed your life. <laughs> it, became, it, it became different. Oh my love, you have been faithful. Oh my life. Come on. Every breath I will sing And then he said James chapter 1 Verse 22 James chapter 1 Write these things I'm, I'm trying to show you how to build the kingdom of God So it can become unshakable Unmovable un, un, well, no, no matter what's happened to anyone, you have fixed your mind on Jesus. Because when you when Jesus shows up, he will not ask you, how's your friends? He will ask you, what about you? Oh, I feel like prophesizing, but I think the word of God is better. The Bible said what? But be doers of the word, and not hearers only. Deceiving your in-laws. Deceiving your husband. Deceiving your wife. Deceiving Papa P. Somebody said, I didn't come to church. I don't want Papa P to see me. <laughs> They're deceiving Papa P. <laughs> Papa P, millions of people want if it's my own way. Millions of people want Papa P. Yes, and he sees somebody when I help. He said, I don't want Papa P. I see if he's gonna change anything from Papa P. People don't get it. But Papi is for you. Yes. Moses is for you, Israel. Yes. If you had him for your blessing, what did he get? Demon. I don't, God, stop that. Away from God is hell. Tell anybody it's hell. And it's really hot. Don't want to be there. Stay with him. No matter what, stay. Amen. Hell is very hot. Demon will play with making mass with you. Stay with God. Hot, stay. Ask Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. The fire is too hot. Stay. Ask Daniel. Stay in the demon of lion. Then I will stay in the fire. Gasatabra. Don't go for cheap stuff. And the Bible says, don't, don't be doers of the world not what deceiving the church deceiving present worship them deceiving your mom who are you deceiving myself number 23 for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror when you when you look at yourself in a mirror who do you see Honest report, who do you see? I see my mom there when I look at myself because I look like my mom. Do you, who do you see? <laughs> who do you see when you see yourself? Your mom? Like me, I see my mom. What about you guys? Hello? Do you see your mom too? We have the same grace. <laughs> okay, you see yourself. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 that's good. That's a good mirror. If you see your mom in your mirror, that means <laughs> that, 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 that mirror needs deliverance. <laughs> okay, continue. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what yeah. kind of man he was. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. He who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues the night. But he, let's judge. One, two, but church, but into perfect law uh -huh. contempt is continue tell is continue it's not just look continue keep on looking look look continue 
Continue, continue, continue. It's not working. Continue. It's not moving. Continue. Things are not moving. Continue. Continue. Don't stop. Tell anybody. Continue. Come on. Continue. 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 On Monday. Continue. Twenty years. Continue. Fifty years. Continue. One fifty years. Continue. Two hundred years. Continue. Two hundred years. If you are still here, praise the Lord. Continue. And then what? But a doer. This one will be blessed in what he does. Do you hear that? He's the one that does it. He's the one that will be blessed. Not the one that hear it only. And the Bible says verse 26. If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. Oh! Tell anybody, I didn't say that. It's in the Bible. The Bible is if we don't control our mouth, it's our mouth, is uh, religion is, uh, I mean, not here, we are all good. I mean, the other church. Amen. Amen. As amen. 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 It's good to control our mouth. I'm telling you, sometimes when God is about to elevate you, watch, watch what's going to stop you. Either your mouth or your anger. Oh, yes. Anytime you're about to elevate it, oh, oh, you feel like you wake up, you feel like you want to bite your husband, not, I mean, <laughs> sorry, you feel like, Ugh. when you feel like that, no, it's a promotion. Just go and make breakfast in bed. Even though you feel horrible, do the good one. I'm serving somebody right now. Whenever God is about to elevate you, mm, you will see like everything makes you angry. Yeah. Everybody makes you angry. Now he begins to say, do you know who I am? God says, oh, who are you? Whoa, who are you? He says, gee, 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 who are you now? Oh, nobody respect me. Wow. Brother, we respect you. We honor you. We respect you. It's your time for elevation. Those things will come, but it takes wisdom. We bow down. I worship. When you find yourself, you begin to worship. We bow. Worship. Hey. Oh, worship. I, 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 I feel like angry. I feel frustrated. Things are not working. And you know that something happened in the realm of the spirit. For me to get myself back. We bow down and worship you. I want you to re realize He's God. We bow down and worship you. Worship. Oh, worship you. And then He, he began to tell God, This is how I feel Him. And then He began to give it to Him. Zabakataba. Before you know it, before you know it, the next day, the next day, the next week, wow! <laughs> Jesus, you love me! Oh, he give a piece of you and miss your moment. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Anytime God is about to do something new. Check your life. What I'm telling you is secret. It will be, it will be easily tempered. But when the time passed, you became very nice again. And waiting for the next one. <laughs> yes, it's a demon. What do you call it? A monitoring spirit. He monitor you. He monitor a man called Moses. He used to be angry. In Egypt, he killed somebody in Egypt. He ran to wilderness, in a wilderness. God met him in the wilderness. When he's about to step into the promised land, he was angry with the Jews. He threw the he God says, speak to the rock. He smacked the rock. God said, Can you see the promised land? See, yeah, you will not you will not enter. He said, No, 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 no. So God said, Sorry, go to the mountain and die. He said, he said What? He said, I want to enter. So God, sorry, he missed it. Who caused that? The same spirit of anger. Still follow him. 
he saw Moses do so many stuff. Now it's time for you to enjoy it. How dare you to enjoy it? How do you? We live to higher Yahweh, Yahweh, and that's why we probably like to worship. Because when you feel that, you have to change it. Moses miss it. Somebody can miss it. And that's why we have the word. When you find yourself in that place, say no, 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 no. Do not be. I can't, I can't forget it. I look at myself. I'll continue to look. I continue to look. I continue to look. I continue. That man will be blessed in what he does. This is extraordinary class. When I discover the word, I devour it. I ate it. The word became my joy. I can't find joy at home. I can't find joy in school. I can't find joy in the system. The, the, my finance is not going well right now. My family is not going well right now. But my joy comes from the wood. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. You can find joy if you devour the wood. So if you have not found joy, that means you have not devoured the wood. Somebody say, I'm, a, I'm a angry. No, you don't need to be angry. He make, nobody make you angry. He go and devour the world. Nobody makes you angry. The problem is lack of the world. No matter what happened to you, no matter who, what people say, call us names, say many stuff, good, fake, anything they say, we devour the world. What anyone say means nothing. Because you have the world. No one can stop you. No one can stop your destiny. No one can hinder your destiny. Give me the word. Nobody can stop you. You may be made so many mistakes. The door that is over, if you can go back to the word and say, Lord, your mercy, your blood speak better than I present the blood of Jesus Christ against this mistake. Today, I tell the devil, enough is enough. I come before to the, the throne of grace and will find mercy in time of need. Even if you made a mistake, that mistake can turn to a blessing. And somebody thought that you are gone. They have made a mistake. God delight in mercy. But men are too proud to do those things. Men are too busy to do those things. So we are too busy to be broken in the presence of the Lord. So we are tough people. So we are not. But with, with that brokenness, he can't worship God. He must be broken in the presence of the Lord. And say, Lord, I, me I messed up. But I need your grace. Lord, I've been talking too much. I'm going off to my husband, everybody. This is not right. I know. But this mouth, can you do something, Holy Ghost? And why you are doing that? He perfect that which concerns you. So we are, we cry in our bambilo. We cry in our bed. We cry with our friends. They give you tissue. At the altar, we are very strong. Lift your hand. So we are strong at the altar. But we are weak at the bambilo. So we are tearing at the bambilo. Your friends say, You are only there for me. You are the only one that is there for me. No one is there for me. No one is there for you. Who saved your soul? Who so? Who saved your soul, brother? Jesus is not there for you. Who saved your soul? Where are you going? You are going to heaven? Are you going to heaven? Yes. Who gave you heaven? Yes. And he's not there for you. Yes, he is. <laughs> because he didn't give you tomato sauce. 
He gave me heaven. And he didn't give me a, 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 a Toyota with a... <laughs> well, I thank God Akila now you are blessed now. I remember my daughter Akila used to drive those cars. Gee, <laughs> you just need, you need to just print tons for... <laughs> when you see her coming, you have to print tons. <laughs> if you don't pray in tons, I'm telling you, <laughs> thank God for you. <laughs> now, <laughs> When I see a girl driving with that no light, I say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He says, I your daughter. I say, no, 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 <laughs> no. No, I don't say that. Papa P can't be ashamed of anything. Even if you're in jail, even my daughter says, that's my daughter is in jail. Papa P don't be came shy because of people's mistake. If, if you only identify with yourself when they are good, you are just lacking what I call self-confidence. You have to identify people when they are mess and when they are good. It means nothing. Some people want to identify people when they are only good. Oh, this is my friend. Oh, no, no, no. Yuck. That's why revival happening is in Africa. Because the person that helped Jesus when he was carrying the cross was who? Huh? The person, everybody left Jesus. Somebody helped Jesus to carry the cross. Who is him? Simon. Huh? from Africa and that's why that's revival from Africa because Jesus remember who helped them to carry the cross I'm telling you he said, everybody because when you carry a cross it means you are anyone that crucified on a cross means you're shameful death means you are a criminal something so everybody don't want to associate with people that crucified on the cross only this Simon help Jesus to carry the cross. Even though it's a shameful place. The disciple ran away from Jesus. This man said, no, never mind. Even though you're a criminal or not, all good, let's do it together. But today, Amen? Are you learning? Tell your neighbor, say, I'm getting better. Are you learning tonight? If you're learning, shout Hallelujah. That's the reason why we are here to, to make us to devour the world so we can become better. We're gonna be no wonder Peter was toiling and then toiling and made Jesus. Jesus took his boat. He never even asked Jesus, Who are you? Because he was been toiling for, lo for a long time. And after Jesus finished, he said, Throw your net. Philippians, the last place. Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant, and coming in the likeness of men. Do you have another translation, sir? Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. This is our heavenly father. This is Jesus. Bible says he gave up his divine privileges. He gave it up for the sake of you and you and I. He gave up his divine privilege. He took the humble position, not just as a man, but as a slave. <laughs> as a slave. And he was born as a human being. In other words, it's not a human being, but he born as a human being. See where go. He reduced himself to save us. And we don't want to reduce ourselves to save anybody. And one of the ways to go very fast in the kingdom of God is humility. If we want to grow fast with the world, if we want to go very fast, it's humility. And humility is not something I am humble. No, it's every day. You face challenges every day. Home school, family, especially in church. And church where the enemy wants us to be angry. He doesn't want you to be angry in school. He doesn't want angry. We understand. But church because the church is the one that can lift you up. And the place that's supposed to bless you is a place that's a, be angry for that place. And the Bible says he, and the Bible says the Bible what? Says he was born as a human being and when he appeared in a human form. And the Bible says what? It. He humbled himself. He humbled. Someone say humbled. 
I can't hear you. Look at them in their eyeballs. They're humbled. God humbled himself and we are obedient to God. That's what I call obedient to death. Obedient. The fastest way to grow in the kingdom of God, obedient. Obedient to death. Imagine if somebody find Jesus where he was, crying the cross. They would say, what are you doing? <laughs> you are going to church, see where, you get, see, where, see where they get you. Your life has messed up. When you are not going to church, your life was good. Now after your church, your life is in a mess. That's Jesus. But without knowing that every test have a testimony. And if you are not tested, you can be trusted. And he humbled himself in obedience to God and died like what? Criminal's death. He didn't die a death criminal. They look at him as a criminal. If I ask you now, if I say, can you carry a cross of a criminal here? You, go, you guys will run away. No, no. So, oh, oh, this man is a criminal. He's a, he's a one that robbed rob the bank. He want to say hi to you. No, no, no. You don't want to identify yourself with him because he's a criminal. But during that time, Jesus looked like a criminal because when he was carrying the cross, people don't know who he is. They say he's a criminal. So can you identify yourself with a criminal? That's why the disciple left. But this man, Simon, helped Jesus. He said, even though you're a criminal, it's all good. Can you help a criminal? Look at me. Can you help a criminal? <laughs> Some of you. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. And then the Bible says what? Hey, we are finishing. The Bible says what? Therefore. Therefore. When he humbled himself, you have what? Therefore. God what? Elevated him. Elevated him. To, to what? To, to the place. place of highest and honor. Not just highest and honor, and gave him the name, the name above. above. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I can't hear you. I can't stay here. You shout glory. glory. People want elevation, but they don't want obedience. But it cannot be elevated without cross. You see the first side of it. And then the second part. People like the second part. They don't like the first part. They are never, if you don't have, if you don't watch part one, you will not understand part two. So many people go for movie, they start from part two, go from part one. The reason why people are confused, they want part two, not part one. Lift your hands and say, I want part one too. <laughs> you ask for it I say you ask for it I say you ask for it but one is not actually good but he can message he can never can do three four you have to start from one but it's very sad in the body of Christ we don't want to come from one we want to come from two and it's not working Tell neighbor, let's start from one. Can we start from one tonight? Lift your right hand, we start from one. I prophesy that whatever you're going through, you are about to, you are about to, you are about to elevated by fire. Open up your mouth, shut, elevated by fire. Elevation by fire. Elevation by fire. Say in the name of Jesus. Jesus was in pain. Part one. After he humbled himself and obeyed God, and Bible said, God gave him a name. God gave him a name. God gave him a name. I feel like in my spirit here, somebody here, you already passed past one. Lift your hand. And I decree that in this season, that whatever you're going through, you're not going through so they can be drowned. You are going through because elevation is at your door. As elevation is at your door. 
and I decree over your family, I decree over your finance, I decree over your business that before the end of this month, may you see victory, may you see success, may you see prosperity, may you see favor, may you see joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall amen. amen. Lift your two hands and receive that grace. Say, I will never fail down. Say, I will never go down. I will rise up and I will shine for my light has come. Can we rise up and give Jesus all the glory tonight?